you probably have used or heard of this tool called Postman. It lets you test your APIs basically, but in recent years they have made the app loaded with features and I think they are focusing more on their enterprise plans which makes it difficult or not so suitable for individual devs like me. So people started looking for alternatives. So one of the tools that became popular is called Insomnia which worked really well but they also got some bad rap in recent months. One tool I use is called HTTPy. It does the same thing and a lot more lightweight and I think they are open source or at least a lot of their stuff is open source so you can check out their github. But recently I have been hearing a lot of good stuff about this new tool called Bruno and their tagline is reinventing API client. I believe it does things in a different way than other typical API clients so I'm really hyped about this. So let's try it out see how it compares with Postman. So if you go to downloads so you have your typical options Mac, Windows or Linux. Let's install this. While that's going on let's go to their github. So it looks like you will just have to write this JSON like configs and it will show up in their desktop app, CLI or VS Code extensions. Alright the install is done so let's open up Bruno. Let's create a new collection. Next APIs location for now okay documents is fine create now we can create request new request here we can have http or graphql uh, http is fine we can give it a name get all users now request url let's use json placeholder for now to do's and let's rename this to to do's create safe mode developer mode let's just have developer mode all right so looks like a typical api client so far we can call the api we're getting our data and i guess we can pass our bodies here headers auth variables and so on now everything here is saved in our desktop. Let's open this folder code. So we have a file called bruno.json which has some collection data like name and version. Let's open this one. So here we can see all the data related to the API. And now you can customize the file as you want. So let's have our headers. We'll have our auth header and let's say it has our token save this let's go to headers and here we see the auth token so pretty cool right let's create another folder called get single to do dot bru we'll copy all this let's rename this to get single to do and on the url we'll just pass our to do id which is one Let's remove the headers, save this and we can see the API, get single to do, let's call this and we get our response. Yeah, so super cool tool, I'll definitely give this a serious try and looks like a very good alternative of Postman. So yeah, that's all for this video guys, hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.